know what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna cook. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you for joining me on another video. Today's video is going to be really special because this is going to be the first episode of One Pot Wonders or Yawakso. And in today's episode of One Pot Wonders, I am going to teach you how to make the Korean dish called Raboki. <laughs> Raboki? <laughs> anyway, to make Raboki, I need to go get some ingredients first. So follow me. Actually, I have a confession. I actually went this morning. Woohoo, the magic of YouTube. Cut to me doing my grocery shopping. So this morning I got up bright and early and went to the supermarket before the crowd hit and I made sure to make a list of everything that I needed in this recipe and grabbed it all at the supermarket today except for the tteokbokki. I don't know why it's sold out. So I could only get the instant tteokbokki today. What? After coming back with the ingredients, I prepped all the ingredients, boiled the eggs, chopped the vegetables, and yeah, I am ready to make my dish. Alright, so everything is prepped, and you may be wondering why I am cooking in my patio. Well, it's such a nice day, and we are not allowed to go outside, so I figured the best way to get some fresh air is to cook in my patio, and also because the smell of kimchi is very strong, and I don't want my entire apartment smelling like kimchi, so we are gonna cook in my patio today. This is my little setup. Cam one, cam two, and I have a cam three. 我觉得我自己做的不错。我觉得我自己做的不错。我觉得我自己做的不错。我觉得我自己做的不错。Anyway, <laughs> anyway, let's get let's get to cooking. So. First, I am going to turn on the fire and heat up the pan with some of this with some of this pan. Okay, so first you want to fry up the ingredients. Here I have some carrots and also some leeks. You know what? I'm going to use my hands to cook because that's what real chefs do. So first, I like to fry up all the ingredients. So. All the flavors come out, and then also add a little bit of the gochujang. Don't kill me if I'm doing this wrong. I might or might not be. And then I'm gonna add some kimchi. So fry up some kimchi. Get some of that kimchi juice. Fry that up. Oh no! No down! Oh my god, I'm lost. I'm getting lost. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some of my inari and I'm gonna pour the juice. I have decided to substitute fish cakes for inari because it kind of looks like fish cakes so and it has a lot of flavor so I think it would work. So I'm gonna add some water to this and then I'm going to add a little bit of gochujang for that extra flavor. It may look like a lot, but you really do need a lot for flavor. So I'm going to taste this later and see if I need to add a little bit more, but it should be fine for now. And then I'm going to add a little bit of sugar, just a tiny bit, not too sweet. And then mix it all around. I might want to lower the fire for a little bit so it doesn't dry up. And we're just gonna add like half ish. I don't measure when I cook. This is the Asian way of doing it. I don't measure, I just go by gut feeling and taste. If you want to, depending on the consistency, you can add more water. I might wanna add some water because I wanna add in some ramen later. Next, I am gonna add my fake topoki. I went to like two different supermarkets, I couldn't find any, so bear with me. And I'm just gonna let it cook and simmer. I'm just gonna leave it in there, wait for the broth to thicken up a little bit. And then I will add in my ramyun. Okay. In goes the ramyun. I don't like my noodles too soggy, so I am just gonna leave it in here till it's just done because it's gonna cook in the heat anyway. So I'm gonna break, try to break this apart and let it cook. Yeah, it's looking good. Okay, so I'm almost done. 
And then last step, I'm gonna add in my eggs. Okay, so I am back. I have brought my final ingredient, which is some mozzarella cheese. So that is gonna be my final ingredient for this rapoki. Oh my god, it smells so good. I'm so proud of myself. If you think I did a good job so far, give me a thumbs up. Okay, so the cheese is all nice and melted. I am going to give this a taste test. I am so excited. What should I eat first? Okay, I should get a little bit of everything. Taste test. Ciao, Oh, it Guys, I swear, if you could taste this right now, you would totally think that Hyunbin Oppa would love to eat my rabuki. Good job, Cheryl. Good job. <laughs> Alright, so this is the end of my first episode of One Pot Wonders. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you want me to do more episodes of One Pot Wonders, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. Give me a thumbs up if you've tried it and you think that this recipe is good. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Wow, Lauda, it's so good! It's so good! Eat it! My dad thinks it's good, so I'm gonna make round two. Add some water. Seasoning packet. Add in your ramyeon. Add in more kimchi. The sugar. Mozzarella cheese and syrup.